Hi there everyone, Jeremy Brown here with the Santa Fe High Desert Division. This video I am going to go over the simple hookup of the Power Pro system from NCE. I looked on YouTube and there's a lot of videos on how to set up your power cab, but nothing really on the Power Pro. Um, usually it's all on someone's layout, so they're going all over the place. And anyway, before I started installing mine on my layout, I wanted to go over the components and do a quick little video on how to set it up. Um, so when you buy the kit, you're going to get, uh, and I'll just point these things out, you get, you get your manual, you get your, your command station here that has the internal power boost, uh, booster. used to be two separate units, um, but now NCE has both the command station and the booster in one. We've got our UTP uh, uh, NCE bus um, panel here that goes usually on the uh, fascia. We've got our pro cab, of course. Uh, you have a little four pin connector here that I've already got hooked up to a power supply. You got a two pin one. You, and uh, you got assorted cables. Now, I actually got the Power Pro R, which is the radio uh, one. So I've got your uh, radio base here with an antenna. Now, all the cables. Now, I've got, you got a six wire cable, flat pin, uh, flat ribbon cable, sorry. So it's a six pin flat ribbon cable. I've actually got two of these. Um, you got a small short cable here. Um, it's also six pin. Then you got your typical spiral like phone cable. It's a four wire uh, cable. This is what you would hook up. If you don't have the radio, you would hook this to your throttle, which then hooks into your UTB. Um, all right, so now all of that comes in with the kit. The only thing that does not that I'm showing here is this power pack. This happens to be an NCE one. Um, you don't have to use that, but make sure you go um, in the reference manual. It tells you about using an alternative power um, uh, power unit. Now, if you go on the front page of the uh, the reference manual, it does have a quick little diagram of how to set this up. But I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, so, we'll, first thing we'll start out with is you can see here on the four pin connector, I've already got it hooked up to the power supply. So, you got the first two. This gets plugged in just like this in here. So the first two here and here hook up to the power supply. The next two hook up to your track power. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Oops, sorry for the reach. I got a, just a small jeweler's flat bit bladed screwdriver. Now normally you would have a heavier gauge wire going to your layout. In this case, just for just a little piece of little piece of a test track here. So we'll go ahead and connect those up. If you're using stranded wire, you want to make sure you tent it first, which means basically you're just soldering the ends of the wires. Um, so that way you can make sure you get a good solid connection when you're doing this permanently. Once you've got those hooked up, you can go ahead and just plug that right in. Just plugs in, screw faces are on top. So we got that part of it done. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to grab one of the um, six ribbon cable, flat, the uh, flat cables. One of those goes into right here where it says cab bus. So you just plug that in there. And there's, there's two, uh, there's a cab bus and control bus. You wanna make sure it goes into cab bus. This is what this is for. This is cab bus. You just plug it into either one. It goes in the back. And just as simple as that, it's, uh, that's connected. So we'll move that over here. Okay. Now there's also still this four pin. This goes for right here. This is for your power program track. It shows inside the manual what you can do to um, put in a switch so you can use uh, put this on your pro, uh, for a pro program track. This is for hooking up to your computer. Um, if you want to run JMRI, um, hooking uh, uh, hooking this up to uh, like JMRI. All right, next thing we got to do is this small cable here. The small cable is going to go here from this control bus over to here. It's basically jumping the command station to the booster. That's what this uh, this what this cable is going to do. So we'll quickly just plug that in. 
There, that's it, we're done. Now, we're gonna set this cable aside. We'll explain that in a minute. That's to hook up the, uh, the uh, radio base. So now we got our pro, cab, our pro, uh, pro cab here. And so we're gonna hook up our pro cab up to here using, I call it the uh, telephone style cable. It's, just a, it's a four wire cable. So we'll just plug that in. And just like that, you're connected. So you just gotta turn on your power supply. And as you see on the screen, our pro cab is up and running, or power cab, yeah, pro, pro cab, sorry. I get the power cab and pro cab mixed up. Your pro cab is all ready to go, you can see here. So I'll actually, uh, to activate the locomotive, I'll go ahead and uh, hit select locomotive. And uh, 6374, I've already programmed this one. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. You can hear it's a sound unit. And just like that, we're up and running. Um, and uh, so it's pretty simple to get it set up. Um, each layout is going to be different on how you're wiring it. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and shut the system down, and then we'll hook up the, uh, the radio base real quick, and then um, we'll uh, do it on radio. So we'll go ahead and shut the power off. Let that uh, calm down a minute. Okay, we'll go ahead and disconnect the pro cab. You don't have to, but I just want to show that you can also with the wireless. All right, so we've got our antenna and our radio base. You're just going to gently thread the antenna on. Whoa, do not want to drop that. Okay, now the other six wire flat cable, that is going to connect Right here where it says bus, I'm going to connect that in. And the other end connects in to the back here. Or it could be the front, doesn't matter. Okay, it is just that simple. So we're going to now put power back to, the, turn the power back on. Now we'll grab our pro, pro cab here. Turn it on, and you can see it says NCE radio, so you know it's uh, it's the radio mode. I'm going to go through the same thing again. Select locomotive six three seven four. Hit enter. There we go. Now we're running completely on wireless. Now, if you got the wireless, you got to make sure you put your AAA batteries back here. It takes four of them, and it has a little diagram in there so you can put them in the right way. But uh, it's, it's that simple um, to hook this up. If you got uh, if you got cabs that are not uh, wireless, you can always you go back and use the cord to uh, come back to here. You can always plug your your pro cab, your non radio pro cab in here. That also works. Or if you can also you can put, hook up your radio one in there via the cable and say the batteries died or something you can also do that anyway so that is a quick overview on how to hook up your power pro nce system thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for a few uh to and uh, also hit the bell so that way you can uh, be updated on uh, future videos of little things that we're going to be doing on the layout i'll be doing um how to's and also uh, layout updates Thanks for watching and happy modeling.